and welcome to today's video so in today's video we're going to be looking at how to build a website and we're going to be focusing on wordpress and the reason why we're looking at wordpress is probably i'd say about 90 percent of the websites that you visit on the internet every single day they're all built using wordpress and i use wordpress and lots and lots of big companies use wordpress i mean let me just give you an example of this so i found this article here 40 of the most notable big name brands that are using WordPress and there's a reason why all of these companies use WordPress but you can see here's, here's some of the companies so we've got TechCrunch, we've got the New Yorker, BBC America you can see there's just hundreds of these Sony, MTV News, Beyonce, PlayStation etc etc I'll drop a link to this feel free to go ahead and have a look at this but the reason why myself and all of these big companies and small companies and bloggers use WordPress is because of the flexibility that it can give you and just how quickly you can build a website because when I first got started blogging I didn't have a bloody clue what I was doing I didn't know how to build a WordPress website and I'd spend a long time going and you know researching different articles and at first I, I thought you had to learn code and all this sort of stuff but you absolutely do not need that building a, a building a website on WordPress it is incredibly easy and that's what I'm going to walk through in this video with you I'll show you how to get everything set up and I'll go through step by step right from the beginning and we'll just build a we'll build a website live for you now this will work if you are a business and you're looking at creating your own website this will work if you're a blogger a vlogger it will work if you're in internet marketing even if you're looking at creating an online shopping store or anything like that having a website nowadays it's absolutely crucial if you're looking to make money online and from home so let's jump into this video so the first part of everything will be getting hosting so you need to have somewhere that, that is going to host your website for you now in over in the past I've used different websites I've used GoDaddy I've used Bluehost and many more I've used HostGator now from trialing and testing all of these different websites website hosting platforms the one that I've finally settled on and the one I recommend is this one here and it's called HostPapa now in terms of HostPapa the reason why I recommend these guys is it's very easy to do but not only is it easy to set everything up because it also populates once you create your hosting it populates your WordPress site for you and it comes with it comes with pre-installed themes it also includes some plugins which have already been installed for you so let me just walk through here and I'll show you the pricing so these are your different options now the one I recommend when you're first starting out is this one here and it's it's the WordPress starter now you can see on here this gives you access to two websites it also gives you a free domain you get a lot of gig storage and this is another reason why I moved over from Bluehost over to HostPapa on Bluehost when you're first getting started they only give you 50 gig of storage where uh, over on HostPapa they actually give you 100 gig but what I really like about this is it comes with Jetpack pre-installed for you so you've got access to a lot of different themes on here it includes things like lazy, lazy, lazy loading images which will help with the speed of your website and it comes with some other cool stuff so we'll go into that and have a look at this it also includes social media posting so once you've created an article on your blog then that will automatically post it to all of your different social media platforms for you you've then got all of the standard essential stuff on here so it comes with wordpress pre-installed it gives you a free domain it gives you a free ssl certificate which basically means this little icon up here when you go on a website if if you do not have this lock on here it means your details are not safe so when you purchase with this company here you get one of these ssl certificates included for you so for less than four dollars a month you get access to two websites and all of this now you can go through and compare the different plans but there's lots as you can see on here I'm not going to go through all this but it includes with absolutely everything on here and it's one click install so once you go through this process it takes a couple of clicks and then we'll be in our back office so we'll scroll down here so this is host Papa this is the one I recommend so you can see that you can compare this to other companies so compared to GoDaddy WordPress engine and Bluehost they're a hell of a lot cheaper but not only are they a lot cheaper they come with many more features so like I mentioned previously I used to recommend Bluehost but if you look at the different prices versus what you get then host Papa it, it wins hands down but let's just scroll back up to the top here <clears throat> so the package we're going to start with is this one here and we're just going to click on get started <clears throat> now this is just going to take a second to load up for, for us here and then we're going to go in and basically purchase our hosting now we've got two options here on the left hand side 
you can click on I need a domain name. So if you're just getting if you're just getting started, then you can basically create your domain name. And a domain name is bit is what somebody would type in the internet to find your website basically. So you're typing your name here, and then you've got the all the different variations, dot com, dot net, etc. 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 So over on one of let's go and show you this. So over on my blog here. This is notartschool.co.uk. Another website of mine is, um, let's go look at this one here. See here, this is lowcapcrypto.com. So on here, all you're going to be doing is just creating your domain name. Now, I already have a domain name that I'm going to use for this, so I'm just going to click on this one over here. But when you're first starting out, you will just go and find a domain name that you're happy with and then check the availability once you've put the details in. So let me go on here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just okay. I already have this domain name, so let me just continue. Oh, so let me put in my domain that I'm going to use for this. I'm gonna click on continue. So this will just take a second to load up, and then it's gonna go into here. And this is just where we're going to confirm our order. So this is the one we're on. Sorry, let me just get rid of this. So this here is the one we want. So the WordPress starter, I'm going to come down, I'm going to choose, it's already selected, so choose this plan. We're then going to scroll down. Now you've got other options on here. So you see up here, optimize WordPress hosting service starter. So make sure you've got this one selected here. Now you've got your term. So it will. you can leave this at 36 months or you can change this. You can change this to 12 months, 24 months or 36 months. Let's just change it to this one. So we're just going to purchase a yearly one for now. Scroll down here. You know, you've got a couple of other options here. Choose your WordPress essential. So do you want automated website backup for £20 a year? You can. It, the, the option is for you. But I'm not going to include this. And I'm not going to include this. Because this here, I'll show you in this video or, or in a later video how you can basically get this for free. What's this here? And again, this here, I'm going to show you another video where we can get basically both of these for absolutely free. So you don't need any of these two here. But if you want to, go ahead and get these and feel free. Scroll down here. This is basically where we're going to fill in the information. So let me very quickly pause this whilst I put in all. In fact, I'll just do this and then I'll just blank this out so you can't see this. So let me just do this. Get rid of this. Telephone number. I'll be done in a minute, I promise you I'm going as fast as I can. Get rid of this. Do this. Four, happy with that. Okay, so once you're happy with all of this, you're simply going to cl click on whichever payment option you want, whether you want to go with Visa, MasterCard, American Express, or if you want to go with Pay with PayPal. So whichever one you want to do, you're just going to click on here, and then once you're happy with that, you click on Create Accounts. So let me go through this payment bit now and I'll click create account and I'll see you in a second so let me just pause there okay so once you've paid for your hosting you'll get an email that looks exactly like this it's just welcoming you to host papa it'll give you your order number on here so that is it done so now let's go and build our website okay so I'm inside of the website now and this is basically the back end and to literally log in you get a username and a password emailed to you directly from host papa you just click on the link sign in and it takes you into the back office basically of your WordPress website now up here you see here I'm going to click on here and visit site this is how the website currently looks pretty rubbish isn't it so let's just go ahead and make this look a bit good so on the left hand side the first thing we're going to do is we're going to scroll down here and go to appearance and we're going to click on themes so on here you've got lots of different options so you can see these are ones which are already on here so this is sorry this is the active theme this is the theme that we've currently got on the website but you can go and preview these other themes on here now you can also search for installed themes or you can simply click on here and click add new if you click on add new this will open up lots of different themes that you can choose from you've got featured popular and if you go through these you'll find hundreds of these so just scroll through and have a look at any that you want to play around with so let's just pick one very quickly for the sake of this so we've got these options here you can click on popular and, to, and you can also on the right hand side over here you can search for themes so if you want something really simple just <laughs> type in simple and then look this is going to bring up all simple outlays that you can go ahead and select so let's just go with this one here for now so I'm going to click on install and then once this installs we're then going to click on activate like this 
So look, you can see this is now being installed. So if I go over here to the blog and I click on refresh, this will now change. So you can see it's all changed. The layout of this has actually changed. So that is the layout change. And if I go back over here onto the themes, so this is our current theme that we've got installed here. And this is how it will look once your website is built out. So you can see here. And if you click on theme details, it will go and give you lots more information. But basically, this is how it will look. So it's pretty cool and it? it's very easy. So you've got your theme that is this here now. This is how this looks. Now, if you want to play around with this even more, really simple at the top here where it says customize, you can click on customize. And then what's going to happen is it just takes a second to load up. But then you can basically customize absolutely any part of this page that you want. And this is one of the reasons why lots of website and lots of companies and bloggers and everyone basically uses website just because of the functionality that you have within within it within the back end so you see over here like this calendar for instance you can click on here if you don't want sorry let me just oh i better go get a charger for my laptop but you see this bit over here if we don't want any of this you can simply go through and delete anything on here that you don't want and you can also add in additional bits so see here just click on here look i click on here if i didn't want this calendar for instance i click on here and then what's going to happen is it opens up over here if i want to remove this i click on remove look it's gone that's it <laughs> it's as simple as that if you want to edit any of these bits down here you can edit any of these it's as you've seen just click on here and then over here you can change the title you can remove this so let me just change this so i'll just do example for you click on done so you can see that is this bit done so this is how you play around with this and once you're happy with all of the amends you'd simply click on publish now let me go back over here so if you wanted to even change like the colors on here if I go back here go back go to colors you can see the header at the top so if I want to change this I'm going to click on header let's go down header background color let's click on here let's just change this to black See, it's changed to black. You can, you can honestly, you can play around with this until your heart's content. But don't play around too much because what happens is when people are, you know, creating websites, they get too caught up in trying to make it perfect. But just go in, select a theme, you know, play around with a couple of colors, and then just start creating your content. So once you're happy with any of these amends that you've made, you simply click on publish, and then that there will be. It, once you click on publish that has now updated the blog for you so let me come out of this and come out of this and i'm going to click on close so let me close this as well so currently this is how the, the website looks so let's go back into the dashboard here so to add a blog post or a website post or an article or anything over here on the left hand side we'll just start really simply with posts so on here i'm going to click on add new and i'll just show you how simple this is to do so you've got a title so i'm just going to say hello <laughs> and i'm literally just going for this for the sake of this so that there is our title now on the right hand side here you've got these other options you've got block and documents but this here is basically where you're going to type you know type in your content so this is very simple to do <laughs> But, and then look, let me just click on enter here. And then if you wanted to add in a picture on here, add an, add an image, add in text files, add in videos, whatever you want. So look, I'll go and add an image. Let's just upload one from here really quickly. Let's go for see if we can find one for you. Let's go on to, what's this one here? Let's just do this one for the sake. So some earnings of mine from yesterday. But once you're happy with this, you can click on publish and look, I'm doing this very quickly. In the next couple of videos that we've got coming up, I'll show you how to do all of this properly and you know how to optimize your post and everything. But once you're happy with all of this and you've put in your content, you click on view post. You can see it's been published. Click on post. Hello. There, you know, there's the article. If we go over to the actual, if you click on here to the home page of the website, you can see website name our latest article and then we've got our search bar over here and we've got all these other different different options down here but that there is really the the simple step to creating a wordpress website so in the next part of the videos we'll go over you know how to set everything up in the back end for you we'll cover some different plugins but as you've seen it's very simple and it's very easy to get your own wordpress website